Aren't you supposed to be teaching right now? Oh my gosh, you're right. I'll never make it in time. Wait, I'll just call up Mr. Ellicum. Maybe he can sub. Thanks, Grace. Hello? Hi, Mr. Ellicum? Yes, this is I, Mr. Ellicum. Oh, sorry to bother you. Um, I'm out hiking and I'm not going to be able to make it to class in time to teach some math. Um, can you possibly sub for me? Yes, of course. I'll be there in a jiffy. Okay, goodbye. Oh, thanks, Mr. Ellicum. Okay, thanks a lot. It is time to go. What is that? My ruler? Hold on a second. Now I am ready. No. today's lesson on the board. Look over this way and you will see a lot of fractions. Do you see them? Well, today we're going to talk about fractions that are simply the same. That means they are the same size. Watch this. And this fraction is one half. It says one half. And I can put some other fractions on it that will be the same. Watch this. Are those the same? No. Are these the same? Yes, they are the same. What is this? I can put them right on top of this. <laughs> Look at that. They are the same. Okay, so I'm going to show you something and write this down. One half is the same or equivalent to this, two-fourths. They are the same. What else do you think is the same as one-half? Look over here. What if we tried this? One-fifth. One-fifth. Two-fifths. Oh, those are not the same. Check it out. Are you looking? Are you looking? Yeah, look right there, right there. Those are not the same. How about some six? <laughs> One six, two six, three six, four six. Oh, you're just three six. Check it out. <laughs> three six is the same as one half. Ta-da! Equivalent fractions. Simple. Let me write it. <laughs> I found my pen. One half is equivalent to three jigs. <laughs> All right, uh, moving forward. Let's be honest. you to find something for me. I want you to see what is the same as two-thirds. Two-thirds is the same as what? But look over here. Look, look. Look. 
two thirds. That is right here. Where is my ruler? No. Okay. Two thirds goes in this long, and here's where your handy dandy ruler comes in handy. Watch this. Two thirds. And I ruler, ruler, take my ruler down. Two thirds is the same as this. One, two, three, four, six. And I can take go down even farther. Two thirds is the same as oh down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is the same as eight twelfths. Equivalent fractions. You're going to do this today, I'm sure, in your math book. Well, we might as well just look at the math math workbook. You're going to do three pages. 94, 95, and 96. On this first page, you will be checking to see which fractions are the same. And check it out. They did the first one for you. They said, one fourth is the same as what? So you need to look over here. You're looking at the shaded in area. Shaded. It is the same size as this one. So you can say that one fourth is the exact same as two eighths. What about this next one? Five sixths is the same as what a fraction on this side over here? Check the shaded area. Find the same shaded area over here. Hmm? Oh, it's this one. So you simply draw a line from this fraction to the fraction that is the same on this side. Five six is the same as ten twelfths. That is a simple page. I am leaving that page. Ho, 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 on this page you have fraction bars listed. It says so you are supposed to use these bars to find the missing numerators. <laughs> oh yeah, numerators, the number on the top, everybody knows that. So one half is the same as what? How many fourths? Let me see. One half goes this long. There are the fourths. It's two of them. So one half. He I just did this lesson on the board. One half is the same as two fourths. Mm, let's skip these halves. I mean, you must do them. I just don't want to do them. But you will do them. Use these bars to help you. How about one third? How many sixths is a one third? Here is one third. I'm going to draw a line down to the sixths. Ta-da! It's two of them. One third is the same as two sixths. Hmm. I know what this is. That is one whole. That would be ten of those. But I'll let you find it on here by yourself. Hmm. Let's turn the page. This seems very simple. Oh, fractions on a number line, the lesson I wanted to teach. It says to use the number lines to help you find the missing numerators. Oh, the missing numbers that are on the top. Okay, let's see. One third is the same as how many ninths? Hmm, good question. Well, here is a third. And where are the ninths? Way down at the bottom. I must try three. Ruler time. <laughs> if you do not have a ruler, you can use the straight edge of a book. Or you can use the straight edge of a paper. Paper. Okay. One third all the way down to the ninth. Right here. Ta -da. It is three ninths. My ruler was in the way. So one third and three ninths are the same. They take up the same length on this number line. Let me write that. One third. Is the same as three ninths. So you can use all of this to help you with all of these. You can do it. I have full faith in you because I am Mr. Elegum. The end. Yes. I am the best teacher in all of them.